So the other day I had a very good question past my desk via email. How do I work with weldments inside a composer? Well, let's take a look at it. This is a weldment of a simple step that we've created here and you can see inside of SOLIDWORKS we've got everything as a welded structure but we want to blow it apart inside a composer. Let's go ahead and do that. So go ahead and close the file out of SOLIDWORKS here. We'll go to Composer and we'll go File Open. So now that I've got the file selected here, we look at the default SOLIDWORKS options. And one of the things about the default SOLIDWORKS options when you do an import in Composer, it says merge files into one active part. I'm going to set that to custom. And the trick here is to make sure that we uncheck merge files into one active part so it treats each individual body of the SOLIDWORKS file as a single actor by itself. Um, the other big thing here is import as bodies. We want the bodies to be bodies. If not, it will just bring every face of every solid body in as an individual actor. So you can have thousands upon thousands of faces. So uncheck merge files into one actor per part and import as bodies. So let the translation do this job here. Okay, so you can see we've got our stair. If we go to our assembly tab here inside a composer, you can see each one of these named it as its own solid body name. So we can come in, right click, grab the stairs, pull them up, here you grab a capture, hit hide, get rid of those. Grab the rest, go to my transform, do a spherical explode, and boom. Nice and neat, everything's apart, we're in good shape. Okay, so that's fine if you're only dealing with a part that is a weldment. Now let's go look and see what happens when you have an assembly that has weldments in it. Let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, so here we have a pretty awesome SOLIDWORKS assembly for us guys that are pretty much handymen. Um, actually a house layout or a building layout, actually a garage, inside a SOLIDWORKS with joists and everything else. Um, this file in the previous file I got from CADGRAB, community at cadgrab.com. This is actually from, from Brian out in Minnesota. Um, I'm going to put links to both of these files so you guys can go and download them from CADGRAB yourself. Um, but I just wanted you guys to know that these files are out there. They're actually pretty cool. But if you notice, the joists in this file, which are pretty pretty well done, are done as weldments. So you can see that's a weldment there. And this file back here is also a weldment. So what I'm going to do is we're going to import this whole thing as normal bodies and then we'll bring in another instance of this body so we can explode it separately, okay? So, and you'll see why here in a second. So I'm just going to save this guy, close it out, and go back into Composer here, and we'll do the translation of that file. So I'm going to stay with merge files into one active part. I'm going to leave import as bodies checked on. It really doesn't matter in this situation because merge files into one active per part will override that. I'm also going to do the option here for merge into new document, and we'll see why here in a second. Okay, so I just didn't want to waste anybody's time here, um, so I hit pause on the recording here for a second so I save like the one minute to translate here but you can see by me doing the 
file open option and merge into new new document on that composer import. You can see we have root now at the top level and we have construction project. So now I want to go find, see all of these are now single actors and you can't explode those, okay? Now you could explode them, but the, the explosion algorithm here inside a composer takes every individual face and explodes them out. Then you'd have to manually reorganize them, which not very fun. So let's go ahead and do it what I consider to be the fun way. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one of the gables here. And I'm going to go file open. Let's see here. Organize it by name here. There's a roof truss. So we're going to say, take that roof truss. And we're going to go ahead and import that in. So I'm going to say merge into current document. And what that just did was it added an assembly for the roof truss into my assembly, but it's not inside of the construction project. It's actually at the root level. So now I can use my transforms because they don't have the same origin as the, the housing assembly. And I'll do a plane to plane alignment there. Do a couple alignments. Oh. There we go. So I would just use the alignment tool here to get that into position. Now if I hide the whole assembly, I have an extra one sitting on top of it. Make sure you're in component selection mode. And I paused the video for a second because I wanted to swear at myself. Um, because one of the things I did was that when I came over here, I see it as one body. So how do I correct that? Okay, let's go back up. Make sure you do this right the first time. Do as I say and not as I do. Come in here. Go ahead and grab that component. That looks good. We'll say merge in the current document. Uncheck the option for merge files into one actor per part. Okay. Go ahead and say open. Turn it on. Make sure in assembly select mode, grab the assembly, go to transform, go to align align. There we go. This one, I'm just going to delete the whole actor. Okay. So now, come back in here, there's the whole garage. If I turn off the whole garage, I have the truss by itself I can now come in and transfer that one by itself as a weldment if you so choose if you need an individual so that's kind of a little workaround that you can do if you have an assembly where you have a specific weldment you want to be able to explode by itself but leave the rest of the parts where everything has the proper orientations and everything else there.